Good morning. Welcome to Story Time. I'm Tarnesia Evans, Children's Program Developer here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. Today we are going to read What's in the Garden? Are we in a garden right now? We are in a garden right now. I have a question for you before I start reading the story What's in the Garden by Marianne Burks. I want to ask you, do you know where your food come from? Mm, let me see. Do you think it's Kroger? Do you think Publix or Wegmans? No. Your food does not come from the grocery store. Those are all grocery stores where people buy food. Your food probably and mostly comes from a farm or a garden. And this story, it tells you all about how food is grown, where it comes from, and there's also a really cool recipe on each page about each fruit and vegetable that we're going to discuss in the book. So are you ready to read What's in the Garden by Marianne Burks? I am. Delicious, nutritious, what could it be? In the spring, there are blossoms all over the tree, red, green, yellow, with fruit that is round. If you don't pick it, it plops to the ground. What do you think they're talking about? Hmm. Let's find out. An apple. Oh, an apple. And here's the recipe for applesauce on the bottom of the page. Are you ready for the next page? You plant them in rows and each forms a head or else you can grow the leaf kind instead. It grows rather quickly and loose moist soil and if there's some frost it won't even spoil. <gasps> Look at the bunny. I saw a cool bunny in my yard yesterday. But he didn't have any yummy 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 vegetables or fruits to nibble on. What do you think it is? Lettuce. This boy is eating a mixed green salad. What kind of greens would you put in your salad? Claudine, I will put spinach and arugula and kale in mine. Would you eat my salad? Yes, I love that. Claudine, my friend that is filming, she agrees. She would put the same leaves in her salad. You ready for the next page? The part you eat is way in the ground. So how can this fabulous food be found? Look for the feathery leaves on its top. It's long and it's orange. A real healthy crop. Mmm. What do you think this is? Did you guess carrot? Right, carrots. And later, we're going to go pull up a carrot in our garden. Its pretty green head is a lovely bouquet that sometimes is eaten in an interesting way. Try it uncooked. It's great with a dip, munching the flowery buds on its tip. What do you think this is? Oh, you guys see there's insects on all the plants that we that you have seen. We'll look for some insects on our plants later. Broccoli! Did you guess broccoli? Do you like broccoli? I like broccoli. Do you like it with lots of butter or do you like it plain like this boy is eating with some dip? Ready for the next page? It's round, it's tiny, it grows in a bush. When made into sauce, it turns into mush. This fabulous fruit can be used as a dye. And it's really yummy in muffins and pie. What do you think this is? Mm. Blueberries, right? Blueberry, here's a blueberry pie. What's your favorite pie? There's apple pie, there's blueberry pie, and cherry pie. Those are all fruits that are made into pies. It comes in a bunch, and it's quite a crunch. It's chopped up in salad and stew. But spreading some cream cheese on one of the stalks is another fun thing you can do. There's some more insects and a bird. Two robins. And what do they have in their mouth? A worm! There's a slug.
you guess celery? It is celery. Ready for the next page? You eat it in sauces with many a dish or right off the vine, however you wish. This versatile fruit is even a drink. Or is it a vegetable? What do you think? Mm. Well, before I tell you the answer, I'm gonna talk about this page. You guys see the ladybugs? Yes, there are ladybugs all over this plant. There's also teeny little bugs called aphids. And an aphid is a ladybug's favorite thing to eat. So on this particular plant, you will always probably find some ladybugs and aphids. You guys ready for the answer? Here's a clue. It's a little, starts out green and ends up red, red, up red. It's a tomato. How do you guys like tomatoes? What's your best way to eat tomatoes? Is it in sauce, on her like on her spaghetti? Or is it on pizza? Like, you know, when you put pizza on, you have that sauce on your pizza, is made from tomatoes. Or is it on your grilled cheese like me? Huh. Ready for the next page? It grows on a vine with skin that is green. It's sliced in a salad. It's long and it's lean. But sometimes it's shorter with soft little prickles and placed in a jar for real tasty pickles. That one's pretty easy. You know the answer to that, right? Before we reveal the answer, there's another insect, right? Could that be? He is pollinating this flower. Because this flower, first it's a flower, and then it is a fruit, which is the cucumber. So did you guess cucumber? Yes. Just bite its long leaf. You'll be able to tell the bulb underneath has a very strong smell. It makes people cry, so it's cut into great haste but added in cooking enhances the taste. What do you think this is? What plant do you think this is? Let's check it out. Did you guess onion? Oh yes, onions make you cry. If you're cutting up an onion, or if you're, well, hope you guys aren't cutting up onions, but if your parents are cutting up onions or an adult around you is cutting up an onion, you'll probably see them crying, but they're not really crying. Are you ready for the next page? It's usually brown way down in the soil. You scrub it to bake it or peel it to boil. It doesn't have ears, but it does have eyes. It's really a favorite when mashed or as fries. Mm, again, here's some insects and beetles and a spider. Potatoes! You like potatoes? What's your favorite way? Is it mashed like this girl is doing? Or is it potato chips? Or is it french fries? Did you know that all those are all potatoes? You ready for the next page? It has a long ear, but never an eye. This towering veg veggie can grow very high. The kernels are ripened by rays from the sun. To eat with butter is really great fun. Corn, just like the front of the, the front of the book. This boy's eating corn. Do you like your corn off the cob, or you like it on the cob? Ready for the next one? It grows in a field right near the corn. From tops, frost tops its heads on a chill autumn morn. It's orange and round with a vine that is green, and kids come to pick it on each Halloween. So this fruit starts out as a flower, just like the cucumber. Remember the cucumber started out as a flower? Starts out as a flower, and then the flower, up under the flower grows the fruit. It's little right there, it's little and green. Let's see what, it, let's see what it turns into. Pumpkin, did you try to say pumpkin? Yes, you like pumpkins? I love pumpkins. And did you know that you can eat the seeds by roasting them? So here's a cool recipe for roasted pumpkin seeds on this page. Nutritious food for you and me, picked off a vine or from a tree, above the ground or deep below. Isn't it fun to watch it grow? 
And when it's ripe and good to eat, why not make a special treat? Try the recipes in this book and with a grown up start to cook. So, part of the resources this week, if you go to our website, you will find the recipes from this book, all of the recipes. My friend Claudine has put them up there. So you guys can go to the website and download the recipes. Also in this book, the author Marianne Burks, she has lots of cool things in the back of the book. She has a section called Food for Thought, where she tells you fun facts about all the fruit and vegetables that we saw in the book. She tells you about all the different plant parts. She talks about some, she gives you guys, actually gives some great vocabulary. And there's some websites and some other books that you guys can read and go to for more information about growing vegetables and fruits. Stay tuned because we are going to head over to our farm garden. We're going to look for some bugs, some insects on our plants. We're going to check out some fruits and vegetables that's growing right in our garden. See you in a sec. Welcome back guys. Remember I told you we were gonna head over to the farm garden to see some vegetables and fruit growing right here in our garden. Are you ready to see this really tasty carrot? I'm gonna pull up, let's see. Remember in the story it had feathery tops. See, here's the feathery top. And I'm gonna pull it, you guys ready? See these carrots? Now, do your carrots look like that from the grocery store? No. But I'm gonna later on, I'm gonna rinse these carrots off and get all the dirt, cut the tops off. And guess what? I'll probably munch on them for a snack. Next, I have an onion. Remember from the story? Does, this, does the onions from the grocery store look like this? No. But when they grow from the ground, they have a really long stem like this and all these roots at the bottom. So that is how the onion looks straight from the garden. And this is how the carrot looks straight out of the ground. So what plant do you think we're at now? You remember from the story, it's really tall. Let's take a look at this corn. Here is the corn. Okay. See the corn growing on the stalk? Not going to pull it off, but I'm just going to show you guys how the corn grows before it gets to the grocery store. Isn't that pretty cool? So now we are over here where we have some little cherry tomatoes growing. And remember in the story, we talked about um, there were insects on each page and on each plant. And remember we saw the bee pollinating the plants. Take a look at these bees. What are they doing? Isn't that cool? Pollinating that flower, you see that? And here are some tomatoes growing. And I'm gonna taste one. Oh wow, they're pretty good and they're juicy. And so there's some green ones in there and red ones, just like the story. Lastly, we're gonna end with our mint. I have some mint here that I have in some water. I cut all the leaves off of it and I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to let some roots grow into it. But then after the roots grow on, I'm going to plant this mint. Okay. And here's a recipe. And here's a recipe that I do every day. Would you guys like to see? I make garden water every day. So in my infuser, I have some lemon, cucumbers right here from our garden, and some mint right from our garden. And I stick it in my infuser. And you don't need a fancy infuser to do this. You can just stick your lemon and your cucumber or whatever fruit you want. And I stick it in my water, just like this. It doesn't go down because I have a lot of ice, but you get the idea. So there's my garden water and I sip on it all day. So I hope today's story and activities inspire you guys to go outside, 
start a garden or start a garden anywhere you want. See you guys next week.